Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of this video being Keeps, that is right, Keeps. Helping men keep their hair, yes, that is right. Hair is a very important thing, guys. And I'll tell you what, I experienced some alopecia randomly before and it was very, very scary. Uh, luckily it was not male pattern balding, but also barbers, you know, curving artificial lines in my head definitely doesn't help. So one thing about hair loss, you gotta be preventative. That's right, you have to be proactive and be preventative. In fact, two out of three guys, two out of three males, yes, that's right, two out of three are gonna experience some form of male pattern balding in their lifetime. The cool thing with Keeps is you can actually get treated from your home. You used to go to the doctor's office to have to get these products, but now you don't. They can literally just send them straight to you. To make it super easy, they'll deliver your medication every three months. So you can say goodbye to awkward pharmacy visits, awkward doctor's office visits, and all that crazy stuff. Plus, is there really a better time to have to stay home? than right now. Plus, additionally, Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products. So even if you've actually tried these products before, you've never gotten them at this price. So that, guys, if you're ready to take action and friend hair loss, quickly go to keeps.com forward slash Joel Hanson. Yes, I was right. So that is keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash J-O-E-L-H-A-N-S-E and Joel Hansen. So click that link in the description below to receive 50% off, yes, that is right, 50% off of your first order. So like I said, definitely go check out Keeps forward slash Joel Hansen, and let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are heading to a place called Island Sushi to do their Loco Moco Challenge. So this is a Loco Moco, which is a Hawaiian dish, which is essentially rice with burgers, like hamburgers, gravy, and eggs, pretty much. And I guess sometimes there's a Kahlua pork. I don't believe there is in this variant. So it's gonna be about six-ish pounds. We're gonna have 40 minutes to complete it. And we get a t-shirt, it's free if we beat it. Mr. Blaine is a big Loco Moco fan. Yes. So he's looking forward to this so stuff. Rain has had them as well. So I've never had one, I'm Canadian. So let's go have a Loco Moco, a very unique Hawaiian dish. Should be really fun. Current record is set by our friend Derek. In fact, he's the only one to beat it, Mr. Heavy D. I think he's about 16 minutes. So let's have some fun, eat some Hawaiian food, and that's it. All right, everyone, so here I am with the Loco Moco Challenge. So it looks very, very interesting. So I've never had a Loco Moco before, but essentially it's like six burger patties, six eggs covered in gravy, and then rice. So it looks good, it smells very unique. And then of course there is a macaroni salad on the side and a malasada, which is essentially a donut. So, very traditional and I guess very popular Hawaiian dish. Looks good, so I've never had it. Let's try it. So somebody's betting that we can do this in 10 minutes. I don't make bets like that. But I did put a dollar in a machine at the casino last night. Let's just say I didn't win anything. <laughs> so, at that, I guess we might as well get started. Rena, ready to rock and roll? Yes, sir. These are big patties, look at that. Like oh, that's steaming. Are they that hot still? Oh yeah, they are hot. All right, well, wish us luck. Hope we don't burn ourselves. As we get started, let's hit the count of five, four, three, two, one. Enjoy. Oh, good. Interesting choice with the gravy. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Island Sushi in Las Vegas, Nevada trying a Loco Moco. So yeah, as I mentioned, a Loco Moco, I guess a very, very popular Hawaiian dish, which I see why. Maybe we should let that cool out a little more. It actually tastes like meatloaf. It contains a lot of items that I absolutely love. I love burgers, I love beef, I like eggs. Um, and the gravy was really good as well. Um, overall, like as I just mentioned, I, the way it was seasoned, like between the gravy and between the way these burger patties, at least these ones specifically, were seasoned, it really did kind of taste like a meatloaf. Like, yes, it, like it definitely wasn't just ground beef. It was flavored, and I don't really like. I don't really know how else to put it, but it definitely, like I said, with all the gravy, it de definitely tastes like meatloaf. So I mean, you basically had like meatloaf or like burgers 
and rice and eggs. So like, what's not to like about it, really? I think it'd be good with some ketchup. Now we did wait for these things to cool off quite a while, but they were like actually a lot hotter than I anticipated. So you'll notice I'm kind of like, I, I actually don't really talk very much during this challenge. I don't comment too, too much on the food. Um, I was really trying to focus on not burning myself um, as really the heat was incubated underneath the burger patties and additionally uh, exacerbated by the gravy. And then the rice was just the rice. But then we also had a serving of a uh, macaroni salad and then a small malasada, which is like a donut, um, along with the challenge, which I mean, both were totally fine. I like macaroni salad and I like donuts. So overall, I mean, this is just like, a, it is true. It's like a very delicious sounding challenge and it very much was uh, a delicious challenge. And um, so yeah, there was no complaints in that regard. Ooh. I just bit my tongue. Woo. That feels good. So uh, we were there with our friend Rocky who had tried this challenge before and he got pretty close he said um, and like we said Derek, our friend Derek Heavy D was actually the only individual to complete this challenge which kind of goes to show there is definitely some difficulty. I know sometimes you guys will see me do a challenge or you guys will comment on the challenge be like oh my gosh I could do that in my sleep. Well. I mean, you doubt you could. I'm not not doubting you, but you know, when only one person's beaten it out of countless attempts, you know, it really does show uh, some difficulty to the challenge. And again, you do have about uh, like 40 minutes or whatever to do this, so it is a reasonable amount of time, I think, for the challenge. Uh, just know um, that you know it is definitely a bit of food. And in all reality, I will even go as far to say they are easier foods to eat. Um, like rice is easy to eat, uh, eggs are easy to eat, um, beef is pretty easy to eat in my opinion. So definitely they, this challenge does consist of foods which are easier to eat, um, however you know it still does carry some difficulty. Um, but at that I think that's pretty much all I have to tell you. Alright so I got through the burger patties, maybe like four minutes in, three and a half, four minutes, just down to the rice, and then the malasada, and the Macaroni salad. It is a cool dish though. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy as we eat this delicious loco moco. Um, if you've ever had a loco moco, let me know down below and let me know what you thought of it. Cause it was, like I said, it was very, very unique. Um, kind of to me, at least this variation tasted like meatloaf. Um, but hey, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video, everybody. Let me know what you think of a loco moco down below if you've had one. And if not, well, would you try one? Need one of those big spoons. Yeah. about six minutes in, it's going well. Rain is doing really well as well. I just said well like five times the same sentence. Might as well. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, it's really good. Just finishing the race. I think I enjoyed donut, macaroni salad. Apparently macaroni salad is a big wine thing. I'm learning. Tastes good. And done for me. Probably about, I guess, seven something. Good time. Yeah, that's thirty-seven thirty. With the last bite in the mouth. So seven thirty. So about roughly seven and a half minutes, something like that. Very tasty, did very much enjoy that. So locomoco, very cool dish. Glad to finally try one. Getting familiar with my Hawaiian cuisine. Maybe I'll get down there one day. Ran is doing well. It's just basically a little bit of the more like burger, rice, eggs. Excuse me, and then our malasada. So doing lots of, doing well, lots of time. Keep it up, Reina. Mm. Oh, you look so good. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. So, about just this challenge. Thanks, everybody. It ran in just over ten minutes. About seven and a half, roughly, for myself. Uh, maybe a little more. So that is a cool spot. Cool place. Great staff. Enjoyed the, my first Loco Moco. Raina, you've said you've been to Hawaii and enjoy this Loco Moco. Is that correct? Yeah. It's a very interesting dish. It's cool. It's like simplicity. It's best. Yeah. So everybody, until next time, Green Las Vegas, know where to come by. And happy eating.
it's weird that there's just this freaking red band of rock. Good morning everybody. Today we're in Red Rock National Park. Lighting is off, but you get the picture. Here with come on man. Here with comrades. The bikers are taking over the place. But very beautiful scenery. When we look out this window, you see big rocks with red strip, like that one there. This is real. There is endangered tortoises out of these and if you touch them you're like looking at like a ten thousand dollar fine. Yes. Just to touch tortoise. Yeah, because they're like it's like the endangered protected. Who is it? Who is the guy? You ever watch Bill Burr? Yeah. yeah he's, like, he's like riding a he's like driving, he's like, share the road. He's like, yeah, you share the fucking road, bro. You wanna go up here or no? Sure. Let's look for endangered tortoise. I will. It, that is expensive touch. I thought I've had some expensive, Almost as expensive touch. as some of the stripper I touched. <laughs> I thought Las Vegas was expensive. Red Rock, very expensive. But it's like, hey, let's build a road through this canyon of government? mountains. The government. Jack, Joel, whenever you have to ask a question in America about why would someone ruin. Like very nice, beautiful thing. The government. To put a nice paved road and introduce human trash and interaction with the ecosystem for just 15 small dollars. It's always our government the looking government. for money. The government came and took my favor. The government somehow decided people wanted to see this stuff. But that's why we're in like debt, because we like these roads are expensive to build and shit, because like this is, dude, this is like a, a long, this is like a long road, man. It's like 32 miles. So yeah, Joel, that's where the uh, Titanic was set in the dock here at about 1912 before they sunk. You know, they pull into Nevada here with the uh, best gold money could buy. And that's how Vegas was started, man. I thought it was, yes, Titanic. Very good. With only, only 1912? Everything the light touches is Blaine's kingdom. That? That's corrupt. You don't go over there, Joel. <laughs> well, there ain't no lot over there. What a nice lookout. Let's pull in there. Let's do her. <laughs> you couldn't answer that question right away. No. Look at this. This is very nice. Look at the rocks. That is a red rock. That is a string of rocks within a rock. I like this rock. Look, that one is a little red. Little red rock. <sighs> so out here looking of quest of endangered tortoise. I still know fine, but we feel fine. We looking, we looking dirt. And then we look on land which is warming with sun because cold blood. They're cold blood brothers. Good. Rattlesnake. Look at the details on this rock and Snoop Dogg. Mama, he, 
Mama. Oh my god. Hoya. Much money. All out. <laughs> 